uh, going to be doing a little driving for dollars using Deal Machine. And this is pretty cool. So you can see uh, my previous drives that we've got uh, with Deal Machine. So the green stands for, let's see what if we can find out. Yeah, the green is six months or less. And then that red is 12 months ago or longer. So we want to uh, drive some new routes. Uh, so I'm starting to drive here and I'm gonna want to click, uh, well I need it to start tracing. So start driving there on the bottom. So now we are driving for dollars and it should be tracking my route now perfect and you can see that it has it tracked uh, so I'm gonna go up here and start driving and this is great last time I was using this I don't think it was uh, following my map as well I don't think it was uh, turning with me or keeping me yeah look at that so they've done some really good updates good work deal machine We've got some good updates going. Now I'm into some houses. I'm gonna slow down and look at the houses. And it looks like I just drove up a street that I drove six months ago. That's what happens with me. I'm not real good at remembering where I'm at. Oh no, this is perfect. So I'll make a right and I'll start zigzagging over there. So this is perfect. All right, let's get back to where we're at push that little center button up in the top right so push the little uh, arrow button and it comes right back around me all right so now let's I mean that house is vacant right there I know it is two eight three one so we're gonna tag that one and this is what I really like about deal machine this is the coolest part is the photos so I can within the app look at this I can take a photo, bam, got the photo. And then this photo is actually gonna be used or can be used on the marketing. So there we go, boom, added. All right, let's keep rocking and rolling. So yeah, that's what's really slick. I really, really like that feature here in Deal Machine. And uh, I have not, seen that in any of the other apps or uh, services that do the driving for dollars so one of the reasons I would say deal machine is my favorite uh, before that little feature right there uh, all by itself 9615 I've already got that one on there 9616 I've got that one on there uh, so I'm just looking around and I'm seeing these other houses that are also um, you know vacant but i've already got them marked so i know i'm doing well let's just oh here start mailers yeah why we're we not mailing come on guys so look at i've already uh i just sent a mailer there here let's look at no oh, we're driving man we're doing 10 things at once and that's what's so powerful about this app is that uh you can do so much with it and uh gotta let somebody buy here pull over you could do so much with it again it it used to be again i'd drive around i'd write the names down then i'd go look them up then i'd try to find them then i'd mail them then i'd wait for a call whereas now it's like bam uh and i think deal machine uh, i don't want to drop any secrets before they're out but i think we've got a really neat conversation uh planned with matt this week and they're going to have some additional features that they're adding which are going to be just a total game changer for us here we've got one two seven one five all right so let's add this lead let's take a picture of it get crop my windows out uh, let's retake that one get it centered a little better there we go we'll use that photo and then, so here's what I'm not, okay, so with marketing, I'll leave you're currently marketing to go to with direct mail. Moving this status will start mailers. You can pause mailers. A lead you are currently marketing to with direct mail. Yeah, so we are mailing, perfect. Yeah, so this is so freaking cool. So again, I add the lead. Bam, automatically I'm starting marketing. That is so important. 
again, there's the, it, the barriers to entry, the barriers to getting the mail out the door, uh, just get blown out the window. Um, so you are, you're spending a little bit of money while you're doing this, but bam, what a, what a powerful tool. All right, kind of keep driving here. And I think this next street we actually looked at, it's one of these streets over here. Uh, we actually looked at, oh, why aren't we tracking my route, guys? Well, what I was saying is one of these streets, I know that the, there's like one owner of the whole freaking street, and they were trying to sell it to us, and the price was a little confusing, to say the least. Yeah, so sometimes when I'm recording, I feel like my phone gets a little glitchy because uh, it's trying to do so much. It's recording, it's tracking my location. Uh, I've got the not only just the screen recording, but also the uh, audio recording. And I think it just sometimes is too much for uh, the system to uh, to handle, even though we're, we're rocking the newer iPhone, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, so driving for dollars, what is it? It is a lead generation technique uh, where you're basically generating your own list. So why is that so advantageous to generate your own list? I'm gonna add this one here because no one else has it, guys, that's why. All right, we closed out everything else and we're gonna try again. We added that last one and uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep driving and see if we can't find some more deals. I wanted to uh, shoot up this way. And we will see what we can find. So Rex, I know I'm now in Breckenridge Hills over uh, near Overland, or it's kind of crossed over. And what I would have guessed was vacant. But there's people living there, you can see them. Okay. This one kind of looks vacant, but kind of looks like somebody's living there. Here we go. 3106 is vacant. And this is next to a little park, too. So that's good. Now, how do I know this 3106 is vacant? Because we've got a newspaper on the front there use it not a very good picture but screw it i've got somebody uh one of the neighbors is looking out the wall yeah this is cool there's a little park through here i love it right in the neighborhood again it's not finished construction but it's coming along and that's what we're doing this one's clearly vacant and we're gonna add it three one two two Add lead. So this is a great one, man. This is going to be, uh, this is a homeowner. And we got to get a better one. Well, we got our side view mirror in there, but what are you going to do? Use it. Get out of the way of these people. We've got another vacant one, 3126, but we got a dumpster in the yard. So I wonder who owns that one see if it's the same was it victor hernandez was on the gisela hernandez i wouldn't be surprised if the same people own these two or did own them so let's add this leaf oh take a photo all right so we got those two added And we'll keep on driving. And pretty soon here, I'm gonna switch over and I'll start doing some video of the houses. Uh, just it's a lot of editing on the back end for me, so I don't wanna necessarily do that every time because uh, I have a tendency to get confused and then sometimes these videos don't even get put out because I just mess it up and I don't wanna do that. I wanna make sure we get this out there. Here we go, here's another vacant one. So here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add this one and then I'll film it for you I'll show you guys so add lead then we're gonna take our picture we'll do zoomed out on this one okay so how do I know this one is vacant 
All right, so how do I know this one's vacant? Well, here, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Look at the window curtains they've got. Oh, there we go. They are doors. So those are doors being used as window curtains. And I can also see the mail hasn't been picked up for a little while. So even if somebody was rehabbing it, you know, they're probably gonna pick the mail up. So that's why I think that one is vacant. Um, just right off the bat there. All right, we're gonna keep on driving here. I'm actually gonna turn and go up Rex and I'm probably messing up my driving route, but that's all right. Take this turn. Sorry there, guy. Gotta keep looking for vacant properties. And here we got one. So you can see they've got stuff on the windows, so it says condemned or something. So I gotta add that one to the prop to the list. So there is a good reason why I've got to keep that uh, background location on because when I'm switching over to uh, just shoot the videos. It won't let me. This one's owned by some guys I know. i to take a picture. Actually, you know what? Let's not add this one. Well, screw it. I'm going to send a message to. Here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna text them right off the bat. Save to photos. And we're gonna go to. Alright, we're right back out and we are rocking and rolling. So here's 35521 Rex. This one's got a lockbox on it too. I wonder if 3221. I wonder if this one is vacant or corporate owned. It is not. It's not owned by the same people. So let's add that one. And I'm gonna keep on driving. Hopefully we're recording with audio. Otherwise, I'm just in my car talking to myself, looking at some houses, no big deal. So I'd be doing this anyways. And it's kind of fun. So again, I'm looking for my next deal, guys, because I need more properties right now. So if you're here in St. Louis, uh, and you've got anything in Overland or Breckenridge Hills or St. Anne, St. John, uh, any of those little areas around there. Uh, I like those areas very much. Uh, that one's up. And I'm looking for more houses in those areas. So hook me up. Cash buyers, baby. Uh, we wholesale some of them, but I'm also uh, the kind of the lead on the rental team for our little company, and uh, we we do a lot of rental rehabs uh, to or the Burr method. We apply the Burr method to a bunch of our properties, so that is another way that we are adding uh, deals to our to our portfolio all right private drive do not turn around kind of funny oh because i guess it's a dead end street here i get a lot of people turning around oh there's a nice little turnaround though i don't know why they're getting too many people all right i'm gonna zoom out and look at my map again because I know I went a little off my other routes. So let's take a look at where we've been today. And we will circle back. I'm gonna stop this recording. Oops, I stopped the drive. Well, we added 10 properties already. So I'm gonna keep, I'll do another drive and add another 20 or 30 here. 
driving again and I'm zooming out playing with my map. So I'm gonna try to hit over there on Coles and Airway and uh, just hit all those streets over there to finish up uh, this little drive today that I'm gonna try to record with you guys or share with you guys rather. And then I'll do some other driving on my own. But yeah, so the, the two streets that are to my currently, oh geez, I'm so bad at directions. Uh, I think I'm facing south. So north, east, south. So there's two streets to my west. I would like to say right, but that's not how you do it, you know? Keep on driving. And again, I'm always a big fan of just slowing down when you're doing your driving for dollars. Pull over when you're playing on the app. And just take your time. Because what you're doing, you're trying to look at all the houses to see things that other people aren't seeing when they're shooting by it. 20, 30, 40 miles an hour like some people drive in these subdivisions. Uh, so my objective again, just go slow and look around. Because a vacant house, here's a really good tip. Just because there's a car in the driveway does not mean somebody's living there. It's a great way to, again, and that fools most people, you know, I mean, you're trying to make it look, because again, you don't want to advertise that you have a vacant house. Like that's, uh, you know, copper thieves or just the opportunist, um, you know, they're going to come and they may break in or whatever. So you, you don't want to advertise your house is vacant for the most part, which is why you'll see a lot of curtains closed and things of that sort or cars in driveways. Even though the house is itself vacant, people park old cars and they just leave them there. And that way they've got, um, you know, a house that just doesn't look vacant. So here's a junker, uh, three, two, two, nine, three, two, two, three, two, three, I don't know what the address is. There's four O's next to it, so it's gotta be a six, I guess. All right, let's add this one, and this sucker is rough. Use the photo. Keep going. So, one of the things I like so I'm, I'm biased again. I live in Overland. I've lived in Overland on and off for years, uh, buying rentals and jumping around, that sort of thing. Um, so I'm biased. I really like that area uh, because it's a little bit, uh, it's pretty well run, I guess you'd say. So it's well-maintained roads. Um, there's fair, um, you know, like municipality laws. They're not crazy strict. They're not uh, corrupt. Uh, it's not broken. So one of the reasons I like this area that I'm in now, which is Breckenridge Hills, is because it's right next to Overland. And I feel like that's where I'm going to have to go is the areas right next to what I like to keep getting the same uh, cash returns or better. And again, you just have to deal with a little bit more of the, uh, or some of the less favorable things, things you don't like about it, some of the areas where you're still gonna get similar appraised values out of the properties uh, and similar, I'm trying to do too many things at once again. And similar, um, you know, re return. I mean, uh, again, you get a decent lead on a property or a decent price on a property can actually spend the money to fix it up and, and add value to that house, add value to the community for that rather. Uh, because as you've seen, some of these houses are in disrepair and that doesn't really help anyone. Uh, I mean, again, the owner just has a property that's falling apart. The neighbors have a property that's an eyesore or possibly, you know, people break in and doing illegal things. Uh, so it's just a lose-lose situation all around. Whereas if we can... Uh, buy these little things and fix them up. Uh, no, that's not it. Three, four, three, two. This one, I don't even really want to own it. It looks like maybe a one bed at best. 
but we will add it to the list. I mean, some of these things, man, if you can pick them up for the right price, uh, they still make sense. All right, so St. Charles Rock Road. I need to go left to get over to Airway. Is that right? Looks like it. All right, so let's whip around there. Hopefully, air. I don't think Airway is accessible. Well, we'll see. Got some road work going on. If we can get over here. We can. Perfect. All right. So we're going to zip up here. And this is a nice wide road. We're going to slow down and look both sides. Find us some deals. So Dave and I, I think we were uh, working together and we did one of our biggest wholesale deals uh, that we've ever done from driving for dollars lead. And it was a six figure deal. So over a hundred thousand dollars from one driving for dollars lead. So to me, I could spend six months or a year driving for dollars and it, you know, I mean, it's going to pay itself off. Uh, I mean, it already has with that one lead. So again, even if we never hit another one like that, we hit some that are 10% as good, 20% as good. If we make a $5,000 deal, I mean, that's still a huge amount of money. And if I can add rentals to my portfolio using that Burr method where I put basically zero dollars into properties, I'm able to refinance all of our money out of them. Why would I not keep doing it? There was a vacant one. And the reason I think it's vacant is because there's just trash places and the shed is open. So that's kind of a weird one, but that's what I'm going with. 3309. All right, we've got that one added. And we'll keep on going down our route here. looks vacant. Nah, it's a truck. That's a working man's house. All right, all right. This deal machine cranking along. Finding me some deals. Finding me some deals. Deals on wheels. So a lot of this audio, you're just going to hear me being kind of weird because that's who I am. Just like to talk. I don't really like to talk that much. And I'm really okay with uncomfortable silence, as most people would call it. But I know it doesn't make for good videos or watching. And here's one. Bingo was his name. This one has to be vacant. All right, this is... Three, two, one, two. And a little bit. It says three, three. It says three, two, one, two. What? Where am I? Oh, the map's wagon. I was like, what's going on here? All right, let's take a, add the lead. Take a picture, let you guys see what I'm talking about. Okay, so you can see this now. So you can see that window's vacant. It's kind of got some mold looking stuff. Just looks like it's vacant. Nobody stepped on any of that uh, frost. Again, just looks like a vacant one here. Let's do zoom out, get a decent picture. Oh, also, here's another dead giveaway. Those trash cans sitting out front. So nobody else has trash cans out. So it's not trash day. What are those cans doing out front? 
other little tips and tricks to finding those deals. Okay. All right, I'm gonna stop here, take a look at my map again to see where I need to fill in. We're gonna let the map populate there. So I need to go, well, I guess I should shoot up this one and then back to Royalton and wrap around Foster. And that'll kind of fill out that map. Foster, and then I'll go up Coles and get that one. All right, let's see if I remember everything I just said. <laughs> All right, crossing over. I'm gonna go up here. And that one's vacant. Three, two, there's no address on it. I believe it's this one right on the corner. I'm gonna add that one. Take a photo. We gotta zoom in a little. All right. So that's another reason I like driving up these uh, vacant, or no outlet streets rather. Uh, because I don't think everybody does it. I think people just kind of hit the big roads. They get a little lazy. And, uh, you know, I'm going to try to hit them all. A little church over here. That's interesting. Hit that center button. Keep the map following us here. I can honestly say that I have never been down this road. one that's vacant and this looks like a great house i would love to own this one so this is a brick house with a garage take a photo now why am i saying that it is vacant here let me retake that is called the local light that paper that's on the drawer called the local light and it hasn't been delivered for a long time Nobody else has one on their door. So we're gonna advertise to them and hopefully buy their house. And here's another one. There's a lockbox on it. Although there's a truck in here, we got a two story right next to this other one, which I think is vacant. Take a photo. So here you see a two story, got a lockbox on it. That's me just screams, my house is vacant somebody was either fixing me up or was planning on it but they're not necessarily doing it anymore and these guys look like they are lived in I'm trying not to get into their driveways Keep on driving. Okay, so then we were gonna cut down uh, this street. And then we were gonna go to, I think it was Royalton was next. Let me see. So now I'm gonna have to make a left to get over there can drive a little faster on the roads we've been down. And Jacqueline Court is another one that we can go up. This one also is a no outlet, I believe, because it's a court. So that means there's a little roundabout at the end. Here's another one with the local light. So again, this is either a vacant house or just somebody who doesn't pick up the mail ever. 
but I think we are vacant, so you are going on my list. Oops. And honestly, I don't even care that the picture's not great. If this goes on the postcard, I mean, it's kind of like, what the hell picture is that? Somebody took a picture from their car? So exactly, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I was driving around and I saw your house and uh, I thought, hey, I'd like to buy it. So that's what we're doing. All right, we're at the edge of the court here. We'll slow down and try to see what we've got. Okay, I almost drove, I did drive by this one. Oh, why isn't it tracking my location? There we go. So I drove by this one, but the trash isn't out. So it's probably an elderly person. I'm gonna tag it, 3106. Carla Roof, sale date, well, I don't know. I mean, to me, it just looks like somebody's not living there. So, and what I mean by that is look at over here, we got trash on the side of the house. The trash, uh, well here, let's just get a picture of it. All right, oops, messing with my air conditioner, not the shifter, I'm in my wife's car today. And the shifter is a little knob as opposed to anything else, so it's just like a radio dial. And, uh, just twist to the AC for the climate all the way to full blast, which I do not need because I am hot, although it is nice and chilly out today. All right, going up to Royalton. I feel like I might have driven this before or walked it or run it. Get that deja vu feeling a lot though the more you do this maybe we just bought a house or looked at a house on this street who knows it looks so how the construction is a little uh chintzier or cheaper i don't know how to i don't know what the right word for that is just looks a little crappier here's one that's vacant for sure let's see if we can see an address up there Two five two. Yeah, two five two. I think. Let's add this lead and get you guys a picture. See if you can see that. All right. This one is definitely vacant. I think it is. 3304 next to it, so let's go with 3306. They bought this and they ran out of money. Let's zoom out and take a look at what we've done or where we've driven rather. So I've got most of this area. I am on Royalton over here. Or I was on Royalton, but here there's a little more Royalton over here. Get over there. Well, let's go ahead and end the video. That's about 20 minutes. 
Uh, we're going to chop this up, edit it, and get it uh, get it out there for you guys to review and, and just to see how this uh, really, really cool uh, app works. And if you're interested in trying, uh, trying this for yourself, uh, you can do that at uh, Deal Machine. Uh, I think there's a link below, or I'll put a link below rather, where you get uh, a reduced price and free credits and all that stuff for using the link. So, uh, and it also, I think, I'm pretty sure they started sending us uh, some free credits as well. So again, use that link. It helps me. It helps you. It's whole full disclosure there. Um, all right, guys, driving for dollars with Mike Slane. Thanks, guys.